So a man decided to be a bigot and uh, this happened. Here it is. You were the slave. Who was the problem? Right. You were. You were the slave, not me. But you're I'm white. Yeah, you're white. You think you're you black? You gotta live with that. What are you talking about? Right, exactly. He you were the slave. Me. Bitch, and that's why you got a black guy now. And I'm gonna give you a hey. one, bitch. I will beat your ass. Wash your mouth. I'm not the one. Bitch, I will beat your ass. Do you understand me? I don't care about those slaves. It's my, I would say because of you, you talk your name, bitch. I'll stop you again. And I'll give you a black, black. Well, all right. Um, after uh, the incident, well, the individual decided to go on social media and uh, post a video. Now, here's what he looks like. Today is my birthday. Last night, I got into a terrible fight. Uh, it was a beautiful day. I was on the Upper East Side. And I went in there and um, met a very nice gentleman. And uh, this dude pushed me, started pushing me. And obviously he had been talking to the same gentleman. So I got basically attacked by a professional prostitute the prostitute did this to me he has been on social media all day long but guess what he's bald now i ripped out all of his dreadlocks i i thought it was a wig but those were his real dreadlocks i ripped his hair out and i'm sorry but i had to use the n-word oopsie Boopsie boopsie. If you are one, you are one, especially if you act like one. Of a mother, of a mother's hit me in my goddamn eye. I am beautiful. God damn it. I am gorgeous. And I only stopped in just to meet a cutie. And I met a cutie. And this black man jumped on me. This black prostitute jumped on me. And I ended up using the N-word. <laughs> that was his real hair. <laughs> I ripped out his real hair. So homeboy is bald now. Sir, I put up the picture full of mass. Okay, first of all, the way we saw the video, you utilized the N word first, and then you started beating him up with your face. Okay, so this is obviously a bigoted moment in history. Uh, the real question is, uh, who is the bigot with a following? It was unfortunately not revealed in the comments of the Reddit. Upload that we found. Many could not help but notice he looked like a uh, character uh, Buffalo Bill from Silence, uh, Silence of the Lambs or Bill Maher. It's one of them. Anyway, um, sir, whatever makes you feel better about yourself, sir. Uh, you look busted and disgusted to me, but I'm glad you feel beautiful on the inside. All right, David, thoughts here? I feel like that's being disrespectful to Silence of the Lambs, uh, giving this guy too much credit. Uh, but yeah, there's maybe the dreadlocks are similar. Look, this guy should uh, should stay at home uh, and stay in front of his computer or TV or whatever he does. This guy should not be out on the street spewing his vile hatred because he's now, sooner or later, he's going to get his other eye busted open too. There you go. Yeah. PSA.